Hello everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do some printmaking at home using um, hopefully things that you have at home using recycled styrofoam and recycled cardboard. Um, so here are some few examples. Um, I was thinking I wanted to do a printmaking video now because um, printmaking is a great way to make a bunch of cards and hopefully you guys know that in a couple days, today's Wednesday, on Sunday, this coming Sunday, it is Mother's Day. So this could be a great project for um, for Mother's Day to make a card for your mom. This is another example. Um, yep, this is just recycled cardboard. Another one, more simple one, just like one big one. That's totally fine. And this was sort of the example of how to do some overlapping. And yes, here we go. So here are my stamps, here are my styrofoam stamps. So this, you know, will turn into to this. Um, yeah, hope you guys um, enjoy and I hope you guys uh, make some of these cards. Okay, so here we go. The materials you are going to need are all laid out here right now. So, um, First of all, you're gonna need your recycled styrofoam pieces. Um, these are mine right here. Uh, you can get them from, cut them up from styrofoam plates. Um, Takeout boxes would be good. Maybe use the top, the one that didn't have food in it. Um, you're gonna need some markers. Those are mine right here. You don't even need that many colors. You're gonna need a pencil or a pen. Um, if you use a pencil, make sure it's a little bit dull, so not as sharp as you would normally use it. Um, that's going to help it not scrap or break through your um, styrofoam as much. You're going to need some pieces of cardboard or cardstock. So if you have cardstock at home, it's just thick paper. That's what cardstock is. Um, great. Use that. Comes in all different colors or white. So that's what this is. If you don't have that, just go ahead and maybe have um, cut out some squares um, from a cereal box or something. Um, and then use the other side. So yeah, mine are just from some um, sparkling water cans. And what else? So the only thing you need your scissor for is to cut out your styrofoam pieces and your um, cardboard. So if I've already done that, I'm going to put my scissor aside and a damp sponge. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so basically we just talked about step number one, which is gather your materials and cut out your styrofoam pieces and your cardboard pieces if you need to, or unless you have cardstock. Step number two is pressing down with your pen or pencil, pressing down firmly, go ahead and draw your shape. So this is kind of making your stamp. I kind of went with the heart theme since it is Mother's Day in a few days. It is Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, I went with the heart theme sort of make like a car with a bunch of different hearts on it. So uh, you can see this is what they'll end up looking like once you have carved out your shape and after you have in fact colored over with marker, this is kind of like the stained leftover that the marker will leave. So um, I'll just kind of go ahead and do another one of these. It's kind of cool to have different hearts with different patterns. Um, and you can go, you can use these over and over again. So once you make them, save your little stamp and yeah, keep on using it. Now, you can play with the thickness of your line or your indent, and that will give different effects. So, as it is a stamp, everything will be, everything that you're coloring in or indenting will be white. It will not get paint or marker that we're using, okay? So kind of imagine everything in the opposite. Um, so everything that you are marking right now when you're making your initial shape, that is gonna be the space, those are gonna be the space in the lines that are going to be white. It's 
kind of nice to have some variation, not so that not all your indents, not all your lines are the same thickness. It'll just, I don't know, maybe make things a bit more interesting. So if you want a specific area to be all white, to not get any color or ink on it, you have to color in the whole, with your, on this stage, you have to color in the whole section. Okay, so um, here is my finished um, heart, and I'm kind of happy with that. So next step, step number three. Um, oh, I guess we did number three. <laughs> Add more lines and details inside. The more, the better. So we kind of just talked about that. Um, how, yeah, if you just did sort of a simple outline of a heart, that would be okay. But um, when it gets actually stamped on you'll see that kind of the more details and the more lines the better um all right so step number four color in your shape with markers now this step you can kind of choose to do it a few different ways uh you can color in your your shape all one color you can overlay and mix colors to make like you know uh, a reddish purple you know you could color over once with red and then with purple you get a yellow uh, reddish purple um, or you can kind of color in parts in different colors um, so here is this example so I'll just kind of show you what I mean um, this heart was from this stamp and so kind of in both of these ones I chose to color different sections different colors and that's kind of how you got that effect this one over here came from this stamp um, and I think it was mostly just me mixing red and orange. It was kind of orangey red. Um, these ones was just one color. I colored it all black. Now, if you had thicker markers, I do not, but if you had thicker markers, I would recommend thicker markers. Because One thing I do want to say, don't press too hard with your marker because what you don't want to do is do the same thing you, you do with your marker that you do with your pencil. You don't want to be indenting all over your styrofoam shape. That is the job that you wanted to do with your pencil or pen in the beginning. And this, at this stage, it doesn't look like much, um, but that's okay. That's expected. And so since I'm not really sticking to a specific area where I'm using either of my colors, uh, it's going to be more of a surprise, more of a mystery what my heart turns out to look like about how the colors blend and and come out and that's kind of in general a really cool thing about printmaking this is a form of printmaking um, is that's always a little bit of a surprise all right so let's leave it there and just kind of see Take my damn sponge, make sure it's still a bit wet. Brush on to your cardboard. It might buck a little bit. That means that the paper will fold a little bit. And kind of feel it. It should feel just 
damp, kind of like your, your um, sponge, but it shouldn't be dripping or soaking wet. Otherwise, if it's too wet, what will happen is a little bit of this, although I kind of like that, the, the ink from the marker will spread a little bit too much and you'll lose some of the detail. This is a good example of using too much water, okay? They just kind of, which is kind of cool. It gets this like tie dye effect. So, you know, if that happens, just go with it, I would say, and stamp over it, which is what I did here. This is sort of an example of maybe not quite enough uh, water or marker, maybe a combination of both. But again, it still looks cool. It's just a different effect. All right, so now this is kind of dried up again while I was talking. So I'm going to re wet it a little bit, pick up my stamp, place it where you want and then just commit press it down hold it make sure it doesn't scoot around once you put it down and give it a nice rub and peel it up <gasps> okay i didn't kind of rub that side enough let's try it again let's use um the same stamp maybe with some different colors and we'll put it here. Red and yellow are two primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. Red and yellow will make orange, so I don't really need orange marker. I can get it by myself with my yellow and my red. I'm gonna be more careful this time to really press down all my shape. I don't wanna lose any of my work. Number seven, lift up to see how it turned out. We're on number seven. Ooh, that one was a really good one, I think. A lot of that detail came out. All right, so step number eight is simply to repeat. This could be a beautiful Mother's Day card as it is you know, two-sided card, back and a front, and you could, you know, you could embellish, you could write mom, you could um, draw things around it with marker. So rather than showing you through with a video on how to do that, this is just sort of my example of kind of how you can add multiple ones and layer on top different prints. So yeah, you can just go, you can do this project by just making one stamp and doing it simply like that, or you can make a bunch and overlap and overlay and do them with all different colors. That is the finished video. I hope you make some.